Hey everyone, my name is Andrew Glanfield and in today's video we're going to be taking a look at something that I'm actually really excited about and it is Motion VFX. This is a company that focuses on making motion graphics for us creators that are extremely easy to use. You see, I spend a lot of time on the computer on Fusion trying to animate my little things, little bubbles that pop up or animate my titles and it just takes a lot of time. Now I had heard about this company before but I had not purchased them because I thought that they only made stuff for Final Cut Pro. Well the company approached me and see if I would make a video for them to review some of their packages here and I was really excited to see that they do have some fruit of to resolve and let me just start here and say they are very easy to use and very customizable now just so you guys know I am not getting paid for this video by motion VFX but I do have an affiliate link down in the description below if you decide to buy any of these products now what do these packages actually have and provide for us as creators well they have things like lower thirds lower thirds are great for talking heads like this if you're introducing somebody new or you're doing a tutorial or you're doing an interview and you have a person and you want to say what their name is and maybe what occupation they are this is a great thing for lower thirds introducing people maybe introducing a video and what kind of video it's gonna be they also have random titles that will basically come in front of the screen maybe telling you what kind of video it's gonna be and they have motion backgrounds so basically backgrounds that you can put behind your text or just in general and you can put pictures in front of them along with that they've got lots of different different things that you can use for if you're a YouTube creator or you're showing a playlist of videos so that you can put like what your previous video is or what next week's video is or if you're going in a playlist and you're showing a bunch of different videos this is really easy to do and customize within DaVinci Resolve. Some other things that I find useful in these packages are the social media aspects of them. They have things for YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, basically all the main platforms there that you can have little pop-ups and say this is my YouTube channel make sure to subscribe click the bell notification all those things are covered and look amazing other things that they have are end screens end screens are great if you're making YouTube videos specifically so if you want to throw an end screen at the end and you want to show the next video or the two different videos or the type of channel and your icon those are great for the end of the video and that's not all the things that they have they also sell other things on their website such as some LUTs or maybe title screens. They also sell a bunch of packs that focus specifically on transitions. Some transitions are included in these um, different packs. I have the MTuber 2 and then I also have the M Channel. One thing that I think is really cool is that they actually have two free packages on their website that you guys can download for yourself to try out. One of them being called the M Hello. This is a small package that has some of these effects that you guys can try out. They're actually really good. So if you guys want to check that out, go to motionvfx.com and you guys can download the M Hello package and try for yourselves for free use on your projects. They have also a second one, which is a matrix one. This one's a little bit more fun. And if you want to take a look at that one, it's kind of like a matrix theme and you can add this to your videos and have some fun with it. So now I think it's a great time to jump into the computer and show you these two packages, how to install them, what's included in them and how to change some of the parameters to make them your own and fit your specific brand and color theme and palette and all those fun stuff. So let's go ahead and jump into the computer and take a look at these. Now I've already installed them as you can see M Tuber. I've got these effects all installed in here. Now if you don't have that, it's very easy to do. You just have to go to their website motionvfx.com and then go to the help section and then click M Installer. Once you download that and you've created your account, you're going to notice that any packages that you have bought, they'll appear here and then anything else that's free that you've chosen to install, you'll notice that they appear here too. Like I mentioned, there's two free ones. There's the Matrix one, and then there's this M Hello version. I really recommend the M Hello because if you're contemplating whether to buy it or not, and you just wanna try it out, the M Hello is a great package to do, and they're very quick to install. I'm gonna uninstall this one so you can see how quick it installs. You just click Install, Connecting, it verifies whether you own it or not, or it's free, and then it's installed. And just like that, now we can go over here and take a look at it and M hello. There you go. That's the effect that comes with that free version. Effects are applied to either a certain clip like this, or they can be applied to adjustment clips. So once I drag it over here, it applies it to the adjustment clip and anything underneath the adjustment clip is gonna receive that effect. Any of the parameters for the effects will be affected through the effects panel here, and then you can drop down and change all the parameters within there. We'll take a look at that in a minute again. The next one here is gonna be your titles. Now that doesn't mean that they're just titles. As you can see here, that could be a motion VFX, it could be a background, but they're built within this title feature here. Similar to what you would do if you grabbed your text plus and you dragged it onto your 
timeline and then you can change your text here. And the last one here is your transitions. Now transitions work like normal transitions. If you have a clip that you've cut and you wanna join them by a transition, you can drag that and just drop it. And now you've got this twisty effect between clip A and B. So that's just very simple. And that of course is underneath transitions over here and you can change the parameters or how long and duration of that transition is. All right, so now let's go ahead and jump into some of these packages that I have here and go ahead and show you what they include. So let's start with the MTuber. I really like the MTuber, it's got a lot of different things. So MTuber, this one actually does not have any transitions, it just has these title um, effects, which I really like. So let's go and take a look at some of these ones. One of that I really like is this magnifying glass that comes with MTuber. When you drag that over, let's go and start by doing an adjustment clip right here. And then let's drag this onto the adjustment clip. What I really like about it is that, let's say I'm doing a tutorial on uh, practical lights. So I can go into this adjustment clip and then show that practical light by dragging this over on top and then bring it down a little bit to show that practical light. So now let's go ahead and do that and bring this forward. And this is why I like to do adjustment clips because then you can actually fade it in, fade it out. You can choose when to start and finish. And let's take a look at what it looks like. And there we go. And of course we can change the parameters within here. Do we want it more sharp or less sharp? Do we want it to be, I don't know, more zoomed in or less zoomed in? There's just all the different things that you can change for this, only this one effect. And you can imagine that every single one, and I'm not gonna be able to have time to go through all of them, but every single one has been built in a, such a way that you can customize them to your color palette or your fonts, anything like that. Let's take a look at another one here. These ones that got me really excited because they're very useful when you're doing tutorials. Again, if I'm doing a tutorial and I'm showing the practical lights, I want, might wanna show this. All I have to do is go into here, my controls, and then I can start moving that arrow. And you'll notice that it has this kind of color. It's, I think, like a red color. We can change that by going to color controls, clicking that, and then choosing a screen color. I'm gonna choose maybe this kind of like pinkish. And there you go. Now you've got that kind of color theme that matches. Now let's take a look at one with text. So let's drag that on there and let's take a look at how we can customize this one to fit my fonts or my brand or whatever I'm doing here. One thing I can do there is go into text controls and change that. I don't have 11,000 subscribers, so we can make just say uh, subscribe. And then I can change my font to my favorite font. Uh, here it is and then change that to maybe a thicker font like this, bold or maybe black. And then we can change the tracking to make a little bit like, like that, and maybe the size a little bit smaller. And then I can just go into background controls and change the color of this to a little bit more of a burgundy. Let's do something like maybe that. So let's take a look at that. I like that, that's really cool. Let's go now onto the other package, which is the M channel. As you can see, I did the M channel and it brought up the three sections again, one, two, and three over here. This one has some transitions. Remember, if you can't see them, maybe you're selected within something like the effects, you can only see the effects, or maybe you're in open effects and you can't see anything, just click toolbox. That gives you all of them and then you can see them all in a glance here. So let's go ahead and start with the top. M channel has some really neat effects that I really like, so that's why I chose this one because it's got all these awesome intros that I might use for something like this one, for example. That one's just really neat. So let's go and try this one out. I'm gonna get an adjustment clip again, put it on the front, and then grab this and drag it right on top of there. And what's really neat about basically all these effects within Reason is that they adjust depending on the length or shortness of your video. So for example, this video clip is this long. It'll start here, it'll play, and then it'll finish right when this is done which is really neat. So now we can adjust and make it maybe a bit longer. As you can see, it's gonna drag on longer and then it's gonna fade out just when it's done. I just think that's such a neat attention to detail when creating these, just to make sure that they do adjust to your clip. On that same note, actually, I noticed that they will actually adjust to your aspect ratio. Let's go and show you here for one, for example. Let's say maybe this one, this one matters on your aspect ratio. So as you can see here, this is just 16 by nine, but if I come in here and I switch it to four by three, notice how everything got adjusted to four by three. Just like that, we have the same clip, but all the little features and all the little sections in there 
got adjusted just for that aspect ratio. That is just really cool. And it does that for all your effects. The other things that these packages include are things like lower thirds. I really like the ability to be able to just hover over them and see what they do. That's just something that comes natively with DaVinci Resolve, but it does help so that you don't have to apply them and you can get an idea of what it's actually gonna do. Let's take a look at one last one. Um, I wanna show you guys something neat about these logos here. Now, as I apply this here, you're gonna notice that this is a YouTube logo, but if I go into my logo controls, you'll notice that I actually changed that into any social media. If I'm on Instagram, talk about Instagram, I can say, you know, um, follow me on Instagram, and then I can put my Instagram control here. I can change all the other parameters if I'd like to, and now I can actually change to where that position is. And now let's play it back and see what we like. That's sweet. I love that. Now, obviously, if I was actually making this video, I would never put it there, And um, but you guys get the idea. I would definitely put it somewhere else or maybe make a um, graphic so that this can go in the middle and not off to the left. But you guys get the idea and see how customizable each and every one is. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you guys are interested in checking these out, the link will be down in the description below and they'll take you to the website where you can check those out. And don't forget, you do have that mHello package that you guys can download and use on your own projects. Well, that's all for today. I'll see you guys in the next video.